Black Desert Mobile's very first preseason character update has arrived. When you create and play a preseasonal character during the event period, you'll experience faster character progression with character specific gear and preseason pass. This experience will also be available for current adventures and new and returning adventures alike. Let's take a look at the details on preseason characters. You can create one preseason character per family, and you'll get an additional character slot in celebration of preseason character update. A preseason character will allow you to progress five times faster than a regular character. Also, when you finish quests from the preseason pass, you can quickly complete the quest where you meet the boss Gavel in East Valencia before preseason completion. After preseason completion, you'll receive various rewards, including a full set of Chaos Grade gear and accessories, and the exclusive outfit decoration, Perlia's Star. The preseason pass includes a series of special quests that only preseason characters can complete. Even for new adventurers who just started the game, all that is needed is to complete the quest for the preseason pass. When you use main quest express passes obtained from the preseason pass, you will be able to skip more complicated quests and will quickly progress by only completing key quests. A window for using a main quest express pass will be displayed when it is available for use. Tap the book icon to the left of the quest widget on the right side of the screen when you are unable to use it for reasons such as moving to other regions. The book icon will only appear when there is a usable Main Quest Express Pass. You can also obtain preseason exclusive Tuvala gear, which you can easily and simply enhance. Boss temps that'll help you increase CP, adventure tokens, a variety of other items, and even a character class change coupon for adventurers who want to experience different classes. These can all be obtained from completing the preseason pass quests. Tuvala gear can only be equipped on preseason characters. There are Tuvala weapons, armor, accessories, relics, totem, and alchemy stones. You can obtain Tuvala weapons and armor as preseason pass rewards, and you can enhance them up to plus 10 at a 100% success rate by using Tuvala black crystals. Awaken enhancements from plus 10 to plus 20 will have variable success rates. You can use Advice of Velg's 10% and Advice of Velg's 50% to increase the enhancement success rate, and use Restoration Scrolls to restore the enhancement level up to a failed Awaken enhancement. You can also obtain Tuvala accessories, relics, totems, and alchemy stones as pre-season pass rewards. Tuvala accessories include rings, necklaces, belts, earrings, and bracelets. You can use the same Tuvala accessory for each piece as the material to enhance them up to plus 10. There are a total of 4 types of Tuvala relics, Al, Ahib, Labriv, and Ser. Like accessories, you can use a relic of the same branch as the materials to enhance them up to plus 10. Upon failed enhancement, you can restore the enhancement level for Tuvala accessories and relics with Restoration Scrolls or Silver. There is only one type of Tuvala Totem, and you can either use Tuvala Totems or Crystallized Tuvala Totems to enhance it up to plus 10. Awakening is not available for Tuvala Totems. Upon Field Enhancement, the enhancement level drops and it cannot be restored. Tuvala Lucky Stones must be amplified, awakened, and enhanced in this specific order. All these can be done through the Alchemy Lab in Camp. First, select the Tuvala Lucky Stone and use Capra's Dust to amplify it up to plus 30. You can then awaken your Tuvala Lucky Stone once it has been amplified to the max level. Tuvala Lucky Stones can be used as a materials to enhance it up to plus 10. Should the Tuvala Lucky Stone enhancement fail, the enhancement level can be restored by Restoration Scrolls. Although you can obtain Tuvala Black Crystals, Accessories, Relics, Totems, and Alchemy Stones as preseason pass rewards, and regions after Valencia, you can obtain a handful of these items, mainly from defeating enemies in Resonating Beach. You can enter Resonating Beach for a certain period of time by using Tuvala Scrolls. Legacy of Tuvala Chest can be looted from Spoils of Battle. 
you can get around 150 chests over 20 minutes, which is the amount of time granted from a single scroll. It's a must for preseason characters. Complete all preseason pass quests and enhance all Tuvala gear up to their max awaken enhancement level, then equip them to complete the preseason. After completing the preseason, you'll no longer be able to equip Tuvala gear, but can instead equip non season gear like your other normal characters. You can discard or sell Tuvala items remaining in your inventory after completion. A full plus 6 Chaos gear set and plus 4 Chaos accessories will be rewarded to all adventurers who complete the preseason. A crystal that can be equipped on the outfit decoration slot Perilia Star will also be given as a completion reward. Apart from gear, other content or categories can also factor into your total CP, including progress on boss rush, ancient runes, constellations, trials of a tour ancient, riftstone, black spirit level, and more. Boss rush is a content where you defeat bosses you meet again that you previously met throughout the main quests in their layers guaranteeing various rewards. Boss rush is divided into two different modes, Alien and Hadoom. Hadoom can be accessed once you defeat the Alien version of the given boss at level 99. Make sure to double check when exchanging boss stamps if you're doing so for an Alien or Hadoom stamp. You can also exchange boss stamps manually if you need to fight particular bosses. Remember that you can also fight these bosses right away if you use Combat Plus, also obtainable from the preseason pass. Ancient Runes is a content you can challenge with other adventures you invite to a party. Need help forming a party? Worry not! If the room status is set to public, Adventures Operation will appear to help you in combat. You can also quickly increase your stats and CP by increasing your Black Spirit's level by feeding it Dark Energy. Constellation is a content that allows characters in your family to all participate as a group. You can create other characters in your family using level 60 character generator coupon you get as a preseason pass reward. Constellation rewards contain Black Spirit runes and Faded Star pieces, the latter of which can be sold for a considerable amount of silver. You can increase stats through Black Spirit runes and sell Faded Star pieces for silver for fast progression. Hold down adventures! Not only can you obtain items essential for progression from Boss Rush, Ancient Runes, Constellation, and more mentioned thus far, but you can also obtain related knowledge, and once boss knowledge accumulates, your CP will increase. Knowledge that you acquire from tapping question mark icons you see when you talk to an NPC or encounter during your adventure can also increase your CP. You may also discover monsters in new regions with question mark icons on top of their heads. Defeat these monsters to obtain knowledge from them. Lastly, one of the things you can also obtain from the preseason pass are a variety of knowledge chests. These will boost up your CP faster via the knowledge acquired through these chests. You can use Chaos Crystals, Sun Crystals, and Blazing Chaos Crystals as materials to enhance your Riftstone. Each time the Riftstone gains a level, your CP will increase. You can enhance Riftstones using Chaos Crystal at your preferred success rate, and Blazing Chaos Crystals guarantee successful enhancement. However, Blazing Chaos Crystals can no longer be used once your Riftstone reaches level 150 so make sure to use them before then. Since Tuvala gear can be equipped only on pre-season characters, you may not be able to equip or use a lot of items that you obtained from progressing your pre-season character. 
make sure to check your collection before feeding them to the black spirit. Not only can you obtain a variety of items as rewards from registering required items to the collection, you can also permanently gain stats that increase your CP. What about the rest of the gear after adding everything to the collection? Those can be fed to the black spirit. Your CP will increase when they are absorbed by the black spirit as dark energy. These are our tips about building a preseason character. Should you have any other questions, please feel free to ask us through our official forum or Discord. Other friendly adventurers can help you, and GMCM will also be there to help you answer any questions you may have. We hope all our adventurers, whether you're new, returning, or current, will experience easier, faster, and more enjoyable adventure as your preseason character completes the preseason.